What is up you guys and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm reviewing the Buff Bunny leggings. I am going to be giving my full and honest review on these leggings so if you guys want to find out whether I like these leggings or not, if I think they're worth it, especially coming from a Canadian who does such a crazy conversion, plus customs, um, I'll give you guys all the details on that, how I think they feel, how I think they fit, and how they do when you squat, so the C3 test, and yeah, just giving my overall honest opinion on these leggings to help you guys figure out whether or not you'd like to get them and try them out. So I want to appreciate you guys so much for tuning in. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already. And without further ado, let's jump right into this video. I got the olive ones as well as the gray ones. I have a side pocket here, the thick waistband. I believe her release was like... It was like near the end of January or early February or something like that. So I ordered the leggings on January 29th and they got here on February 15th. So it took about two weeks for them to get here, which is pretty reasonable, especially when they come from the States and they get to me here in Canada. The warehouse for the Buff Bunny collection is in San Antonio, Texas. I know the number one question that a lot of Canadians are asking is if, we, if I had to pay customs on them. And I did, I had to pay $17. The leggings itself costed $58 US each, and then there was a $20 shipping um, on that as well, so altogether I paid $136 US. I'll put the conversion of Canadian somewhere on the screen here, I just don't remember the top of my head. But anyway, so that's how much I paid, that's how long it took for them to get to me, and um, so I'll go a little bit in depth as to what the leggings are like. As you can see, they have a thick waistband here. As you guys can see in the video that is playing right over here, you can see that it comes up, and I'm 5'1 for reference, they come up just above my belly button, so they're super high-waisted, which I love. All the seams are great, like nothing is like coming apart or anything like that. And these pockets are just awesome because they fit my iPhone 7 Plus. So if you guys have a Plus phone, or like Note or something like that, and you just can never find pants with these side pockets that fit the big phones. These ones definitely do, which I love. I gotta say small, I probably could have gotten away with a medium. However, I am planning to lose some weight and then hopefully keep it that way. But I don't typically fluctuate too much when it comes to like my legs or anything like that. If anything, it's like the booty and the waist. So I decided to go with the small just because I don't plan on staying this size for much longer. So I do want to be able to fit them as well once I lose weight. So I, I just went with the small. And I normally get about a 4 or a 6 in Lululemon just depending on the legging and how I want them to fit. But I mean, I'm pretty happy with how they fit even though they are pretty tight on me. Um, I personally don't mind it. So it really depends on what your preference is when it comes to how your leggings fit and stuff like that. It has a little logo in the back and then it has a logo on the inside as well as the size and a little bit of a breakdown of the material. And these pants are 97% nylon, 13% spandex. It recommends that you wash them cold, do not tumble dry, do not bleach, do not iron. And then it has those little signs that are typically on the tag and then Buff Bunny on the bottom. So she definitely personalized that, which is really cute. And I love, love, love the color. And that is one of the main reasons why I really wanted these leggings was this color of gray. It's just so different and unique. Like I have a bunch of gray leggings, but I don't have leggings that are this gray. So I really like the color selection when it came to the leggings, which is why um, I really wanted them. And I really like the way your butt looks in these. I like the way my legs look in them. Like I just really like the way they fit. And I was walking around the house. I was doing some squats in the demo video that you guys are seeing over here. And they weren't falling down or anything like that. And um, they like sometimes when like pants are high waisted, they start to like kind of roll. These ones definitely did not do that. They aren't see through at all, as you guys can see in the squat demonstration. And even if I were to like go like this and like really stretch it out, you, know, you guys can't really see my fingers or anything like that. Super, super happy with them. Um, these are the gray version of them. Again, beautiful, beautiful color. I don't have any leggings that are quite this kind of olive green. I have like army green ones and camel ones, but I don't have leggings this color. So again, the color selection is what really attracted me to these leggings. I'm so surprised at how thick these leggings are. And as you can see with the olive ones too, like they're just like not see-through. Like you can't see my hand. Like you can see the silhouette of it, but you can't really like see through it. Definitely not see through. Don't have to worry about it when you guys do like sit like a deadlifts or squats or anything like that. Or when you just bend over to pick something up, like people won't be seeing your butt. 
Heidi definitely chose some high quality leggings, which is awesome. So definitely really happy with the quality. They are more than comparable to Lululemon's. They're actually pretty similar when it comes to material a little bit. I know that the Luan is like, what, these are like 87%? Yeah, these are like 87% nylon, and I think the Luan material that Lululemon uses is like 83% nylon, and then like, whatever remainder percentage of Lycra, I think it was. But yeah, I would definitely say that they're very comparable to Lululemon. They're awesome to use casually or when you're working out. They are very flattering on the body. They hug you in all the right places. They keep everything in with the high waist, which a lot of girls love these days, including myself and all the leggings that I get. I do try to get high waisted, even though they come like all the way up to my ribs, um, just because I'm so short. Definitely happy with my purchase. I look forward to ordering more of Buff Bunny collection. However, I do want to do it in bulk just because of the shipping rate being $20 US and with the Canadian dollar right now, it's just so crappy. So I wanna make sure next time I make an order, it's like a bulk order. Um, and then again, with the whole customs things, you have to keep that in mind. So depending on how much you're really wanting to spend, depends on if you'd wanna splurge on these or not. See, but if I was in the US, obviously a different story. It's such a steal if you're in the US for the price and the quality that you get. $58 US compared to however much Lululemons are in the America. Um, the obviously these are a lot cheaper um, so I would definitely recommend getting these I have a feeling these are gonna be two of my new favorite leggings just because I love how they feel I love how they look and I just don't have any complaints whatsoever I know a lot of people were worried whether or not these would fit shorties but they definitely fit so don't worry about that at all I mean I don't think Heidi would make leggings that don't fit shorties when she's pretty short herself so thank you Heidi for making sure that these were like super super long on us short girls so overall I'm super happy with my purchase like I said I'll definitely be ordering more of Buff Bunny stuff Heidi did an amazing job on these leggings and I highly highly recommend them this video is not sponsored whatsoever so I'm just giving an honest review on these and I think that's it when it comes to this review so I hope this review helped you guys decide whether or not to splurge or not on the Buff Bunny collection I definitely say go for it um, you guys will not be disappointed. So that concludes this review video. Definitely give this video a thumbs up if it helped you decide whether or not you're going to be getting this collection. And if you guys have any specific questions about the leggings, I mean, I think I covered all bases and the, the most common questions for people. Leave them down in the comment section down below. And I will see you guys on Tuesday for a vlog video. It is going to be kind of like a day in the life with me and kind of an update on my career. So thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. If you guys have a particular video you guys would like me to cover for next Sunday's sit down video, please let me know in the comments down below and I'll be sure to do so. And until Tuesday, hope you guys had a great weekend and I will see you guys next time. Bye!